If a tenant requests you to be their guarantor, you will receive this email. To open the form, click enter your guarantor details. When you open the form, a pop-up will appear with a link to our support page. You can open our support page by clicking here. To close the pop-up, simply click OK. The first step of the form is to enter your personal details. To do this, simply type them into the relevant boxes. As you will see, some boxes have an asterisk next to them. This represents a required field and will need to be filled in for the form to be submitted. If you live in the UK, you can enter your postcode into the address lookup box. A drop-down menu will appear. Click on the menu to open it and scroll down to the correct address. Click on your address to select it. As you can see, the boxes will fill in automatically. If you do not live in the UK or cannot find your address using the address lookup function, you can simply type your address into the boxes. To select your address status and the time spent at your current address, click on the respective drop-down menus and select the option that best describes your current situation. To upload a copy of your photo ID, click on Browse. Select the file you wish to upload and click Open. You can tell if the file has been uploaded successfully when the name of the file appears next to the Browse button. If you would like to replace the file you uploaded with a different one, click on the Browse button again, select the new file and click Open. This will upload the new file in place of the original. To declare any adverse credit, pending CPJs, court decrees or past bankruptcy, simply switch the relevant toggle from No to Yes. If you select Yes, you will be asked to provide brief details of your situation. To upload a copy of your bank statements, click Browse. Select the file you wish to upload and click Open. To add an additional statement, click Add another statement and upload the file in the same way as described before. If you would like to replace the file you uploaded with a different one, click on the Browse button again, select the new file and click Open. This will upload the new file in the place of the original one. To enter your national insurance number, simply type it into the box provided. Click on the drop-down menu to select your current employment status. You can select the option that best describes your situation. For example, if you select Employed, you will be asked to enter your current employment details. To do this, simply type them into the relevant boxes. When entering your income details, type the figure into the box, ensuring you do not include a comma. When you click on the box that says Enter Start Date of Employment, you will see that the calendar appears. To scroll through the calendar by month, simply click on the arrow buttons on the top corners of the calendar. To browse by year, click on the year on the top of the calendar and then click the arrows to scroll back by year. Then select the month and the date that you began employment. If your employment status is going to change in the near future, switch the toggle to Yes and enter your future employment details in the same way as you did for your current employment details. If you are or will be retired, we will ask you to submit your accountant's details and your annual income. If you have a private pension, you can also submit those details by switching this toggle to Yes. If you have any other source of income, you can declare it here. Please read the declaration before signing it. To sign the declaration, you can either draw your signature in the box provided, or select the Type tab and type your signature in the box that says Review your signature. Once you have signed the declaration, click Submit. Please do not exit yet as the guarantor agreement is on the next page. To open the guarantor agreement, click View Guarantor Agreement. In this case, you can see that the contract is opened within the same page as the form as a pop-up. From here you can read and download the contract. In this browser, Safari, the download button is located at the bottom of the page. In Google Chrome, 
the download button will be located at the top right hand corner of the page. To close the agreement, click, click on the X on the top right hand corner of the page. Repeat these steps to view the tenant contract draft. To sign the guarantor agreement, you can either draw your signature in the box provided or select the type tab and type your signature in the box that says review your signature. Once you have entered your signature, click submit. Please do not close the page until the contract has updated. Thank you for watching this video. If you still have any questions or need any help submitting the form, please get in touch with our support team who are always happy to help.